People who live at a mountain mobile home park are having to pack up and leave. Health inspectors say the septic system is failing and leaking into a nearby stream. News 13's Rex Hodge is live from the Jackson County Health Department. And Rex, how are the residents there taking it? Some are upset. Some are upset with the owner of Shelton's trailer park. Some simply with the notion of moving. Business-wise, the owner says he has no choice. I love living here. I've raised my kids here. Susie Franks has lived at Shelton's trailer park in Whittier for 30 years. <laughs> it's been fine with me. But after more than 50 years of operation, the septic system is failing. It has now gotten to the point to where it's entering the stream. The Jackson County Health Department ran tests, including putting dye into the system, which verified the leaking. Once we became aware of that, then uh, we had to issue a um, notice of violation to Mr. Shelton. The only option we have is to close down. The options I have at this point are just cost prohibitive. Closing is a hard decision for owner William Shelton, especially with his father starting the business in the early 60s. He says for over a decade, there was talk of the Whittier Sanitary District establishing a gravity line that the trailer park could use for septic. He says a pressure main was installed instead. My only option would be to hook on to the pressure main, which is here, which is cost prohibitive from an engineering and impact fee. He says waiting for a gravity line puts him in the same spot. Like probably forty to fifty to sixty thousand dollars in whichever option. Not being able to afford that and not wanting to pollute the stream, he's closing the park down. I feel for the residents here. I have waived rents for the past months since the time that they have known this was happening. Some of the 20 residents have pulled out already. Boxes packed everywhere. Susie Franks is collecting her things and moving to Swain County with her boyfriend. And that's $3,000 just to move the trailer. She understands the owner's dilemma and is not upset with him. But she says she's caught between a rock and a hard place, too. Yeah, a lot of us are. I mean, a lot of them are, they don't have a place to go, no money to move. Initially, the deadline for moving was March 7th, but because of bad weather, first the cold and the snow, and now the rain, residents are getting a little bit more time. And the health department and DSS are working together to help residents relocate. Reporting live tonight from Jackson County, Rex Hodge, News 13.